Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mob battle battle. <laughs> so for today, as you can see, we have Gruen, my little bit of a grill from the Lysanaz mode. So yet again, bringing you more epic battles together. Um, but before we do get into the battle, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and smash that like button. Now, let's see how quickly we get to 4K. Woo! Let's see if we can even hit that 5K. Who knows? It's exciting times for the channel right about now. But anyway, let's waste no further time and get on with today's mob battle. So, in our beautiful chest here, today we have... da 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 Methuselah Kraken. He is going up against the likes of Nightmare. Trent. Rahovart, Snow Golem Titan, the King, and the beautiful Queen herself. So, let's see how this one goes. So, if you don't know about Mephusela Kraken, it is a Ore Spawn and Titan crossover mob, so you need both the mods installed for it to work. I don't know what's going on in the background over there, but it is already not boding well. Um, but anyway, yes, you need both of these mods installed for the mod to, uh, for the mob to actually work so here it is it's pretty it's a juice up kraken uh, let's see if we can get in the big nightmare i want the big dude in oh my goodness so mephusela kraken spawns in lots of little krakens um and it, uh, as you know the little krakens are powerful enough as it is i'm trying to get the 500 nightmare in oh my goodness it is popping off so you can tell which one is mephusela kraken because that one has the purple eyes. There you go. And she is murking some nightmares. It is a nightmare in itself. So, Mufusela Kraken, wherever on earth she is lurking. Who even knows? There she is, looking stunning. Uh, she is a bit bigger than your usual Kraken. Um, if I can even get to her to show you her health. There you go, 12,000. She is a bit of a beefy mob. Um, and oh my goodness, the Krakens are just going mental down here. She has spawned in so many. We are going to need... There we go, I've got the 500 Nightmare in. We are going to need so many Nightmares to even combat this. Normally, I would just say we do mob versus mob. But with this, you need multiple mobs. Now, this is just ridiculous. Um, there is Mephusela Kraken in there, and the Nightmares are just getting swamped. I'm sorry, there's the 500 Nightmare. A thousand Nightmare? I didn't know you got that. Um, but it doesn't really matter, he's dead anyway. Um, there we go, we got a 750 Nightmare. Um, very, I, I thought you only got him up to 500, maybe I'm just a little bit stupid. Uh, there you go, there's the 500 Nightmare. He's chilling, he's grilling, he's perishing. He is taking, they are taking out Krakens. They are taking out the Krakens, but Mephusela Kraken is not budging there is just far too many krakens around for any damage to be hit on Mephusela kraken that is her ultimate defense is her army of little krakens because they are you got to get past them first before you even get to her and she will just keep spawning and spawning them bad boys in there's no getting around her and the majority of the nightmares have all been taken out by now there's a few little ones still flying around, but that is that. And as you saw, our arena is already gone. Yeah, this is the arena, and it's gone. It did not last long. Round one, gone already. It's ridiculous, really. It's ridiculous. She's a fantastic mob, and I absolutely love messing around with Mephusela Kraken, just like we did the other week with Overlord Scorpion. Amazing mobs. Just ridiculously amazing. Okay. So, we've got a Trent in. A Trent? I swear, no. I, you, you, I swear you were bigger. I swear you were bigger. Okay, let me just see. Uh, am I going cray cray? And protectors of the forest, they will attack anything. Blah, 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 blah. I feel like, I feel like I'm going cray cray. But, um, is there any point in having all of these in? Uh, oh, well, you know what? We've got this mob in now. Uh... Let's spawn a load of them. So, <laughs> might as well. Let's see how this goes. So, we'll get a load of these in. And let's see how they do against Mephusela Kraken. So, go, guys. Get, not long. They, 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 that was... 
That was not good. So we're going to get straight up and spawn Rahovart in. And let's see how this one goes. Rahovart is not a mob to be taken lightly. If he does his wall of death, that pretty much can take down most mobs. And now, oh my goodness, it is all going cray cray up in here. Rahovart is currently chilling, grilling in the air. He's coming back down, but he is surrounded by a bowl of lightning. And it is not looking pretty for him. Use your cannon arm, Rahovart. Oh, wait, no, you don't even have the cannon arm in the 1.7.10 uh, version. Oh, my goodness, you are an amateur in this one. Oh, my gosh. But he's only in phase one at the moment. Where is Mephusela Kraken? Mephusela Kraken isn't even damaged. Uh, oh, yep, yep, a little bit of damage being done. But she is spawning in so many Krakens. It is just ridiculous. Rahovar is taking, I don't think, any da hardly any damage. Oh, my goodness. Um, Mephusela Kraken is also taking hardly any damage. She's not regening. Oh, no, yeah, she is. Yeah, I'm a liar. I am a liar. Whereas Rahovart does not regen. So any health he does lose, he has lost permanently. He's going back down. Mephusela Kraken, has she got a hold of him? I think she has a hold of him. She's doing a lightning attack. She is leaving no prisoners with Rahovart. I have no idea how high we are in the air right now. But it is brutal up here. Rahovart has never been this high in the air before, considering he's a never monster boss evil thing. Um, Mephusel Kraken, you should not be flying. I don't know what you're doing up the, at these altitudes. Uh, Rahovart, you're not loving life. What do you think, Gru? 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 What on earth is up here? Oh my goodness, we've got Epions up here. We've just got some Epions just flying around up here. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay, uh, Kraken, ooh, Mephuso Kraken is taking no damage, where's, how's Rahovart doing? Rahovart has taken more damage, it is very slow though, and he's falling. Nope, Mephuso Kraken has grabbed him, and he is stuck in her deadly icy grip. Um, he is losing health very, very slowly, very slowly. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave, oh, and she is just launching up right in the air. And she is taking no damage. Nothing is being done to her at all. Rahovart has regened like a boss, but is falling. He's falling, he's still falling. No, no. Mephusa Kraken's got him. Mephusa Kraken's got the dude. Okay, let's jump down, let's drop down. Okay, what is he gonna do? He's just he just looks baffled. He doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what to say, doesn't know where he is. I, I agree with you, bro. This is a sticky situation. Um, so we're going to let this play out for a bit, see what happens within the next 5-10 minutes, and I will be back. I turn my back for one second, and I'll tell you what, Mephusa Kraken has done something with Rahovart. I'm pretty sure he's just fallen all the way down here. Yep, yes he has, and he is still falling. Um, so, he, oh my goodness, what is being, what has been going on down here? Where even are we? What is happening? I've just fallen down into another world of destruction. It is just crazy today. This we thought last week's was pretty pretty cray cray. This is just something else. Refuse the Kraken is still sending down lightning. This place, there's the arena way over there. We've managed to somehow land down here. Rahovar is still getting injured, but barely nowhere near as much as the well no. No, he's back at five thousand. I'll tell you what, this is a stalemate. Because he hasn't done his wall of death. If this was a 1.12.2 version, I'll tell you what, I reckon he would win it. But it being the 1.7.10, it's just not doing it. He doesn't have the wall of death ability. And he's, yeah, he's just not having a great time. Refusal Kraken is too far up in the air. The battle ain't going to go anywhere else. I'm going to call a tie on this one. Yet again, with all these controversial battles, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you think is the final outcome. But, oh my goodness, the, uh, it is just raining down, Krakens. Um, I tell you, I don't, I don't want to leave the battle, but I know it's not going to go anywhere, so we probably should move on. I mean, he's lost a bit more health, but I don't know. It's a tricky one. We're going to, we're going to call it there. I'll tell you what, if we don't call it somewhere, it will never end. So, that is my logic behind it. So, let's see if we can actually even get back to the arena do, do, do I want to see if I can get back to the arena can I what do I swear I've got yeah this armor should make me run faster or something at least 
Okay, um, you know what, stuff it, we'll do the next battle here. So now we have Snow Golem Titan! I tell you, no, no, we're getting rid of these, we're getting rid of these, um, Krakens, and we're changing the weather, because they're getting on my nerves. Weather clear, 9,000. I mean, I know it will just immediately rain again as soon as I spore them in, um, but hey-ho, it's alright. Okay, so, now we have Snow Golem Titan is going up against Mufuse the Kraken. And let's see if a Titan can take out, well, what is effectively an Orsmore Titan, to be honest. So let's see this one. Oh my goodness, I fell straight through the void. Wow, did that happen? Okay, here we go. Can I, can, let me back up. Let me back up. Yep, nailed it. Okay, so Snowgorm Titan is in. Loving a bit of life. Let's see if it loves it with Mephusa the Kraken involved. So there we go. Snow Golem Titan is losing health rapidly. And it is not wasting any time to get absolutely battered by Mephusa the Kraken. So there she is. She has just taken out Snow Golem Titan like he is nothing. Snow Golem Titan is trying his best. Bruh, try, try a bit harder, man. Mephusa the Kraken is taking damage, though. She has taken 2,000 HP damage. That is more than Rahovart was able to deal. Taking more damage. Snow Golem Titan is fighting with everything he has got. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a tight one. Well, oh no, maybe not that tight. I'll tell you what, Snow Golem Titan doesn't have long left. Refuse the Kraken is hitting him with that lightning. But Snow Golem Titan seems to be regening. Where has he gone? Is he dead? He could well... No, he's still alive. He's, he's regen... He's, get, he's getting his health back. Refuse the Kraken, you made a mistake by throwing him in the air, man. You should not have done that. He's coming back down with a vengeance. Tell you what. Okay, here we go. Nope, here we go. 30, 33, 34. This is it. And he's gone. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That, that was a bit more intense, that one. Okay. So, let's see how Mephusa Kraken deals with the Queen, though. I mean, I don't see this going well for the Queen, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I know the Queen is, uh, oh well, no, this is, uh, this is the King, isn't it? I've just spawned it. Uh, the Queen's the final round. Uh, I don't see it's going too well for either of them, but, you know, we'll see. Refuse the Kraken, how are you doing? She is losing health, but the King is losing an equal amount. Um, the bony bonus here really is the Queen can fly. Um, the Queen, the King can fly. Well, as you know, Refuse the Kraken has that weird floaty ability, uh, whatever that is. But the king is taking a battering. I'm not sure if Mufusa the Kraken is carrying the king away. I'm not too sure what is going on with that one. But that's what it kind of looks like. The king is taking damage. The king is taking a lot of damage. Looks like Mufusa the Kraken is taking the king for a little bit of a ride. Oh my goodness. But the amount of Krakens that is just being spawned in right now is just something else. The poor, poor king he is trying to regen as fast as possible. And it is just not his day. Oh, kingy, king boy. You are not having a good one. Okay, come on, do something. Fight back. You need to at least take out some Krakens, because at the moment, you're not even doing that, man. Okay, where is your health bar at? It is just below half now, it appears, and Mephusa Kraken is definitely taking this dude for a ride. I'll tell you that. Okay, come on. Come on, Mephusa Kraken is losing health. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, but nothing compared to what the king is being put through right now. Oh, I can barely even follow this battle. I'll tell you what. Oh, Kingy King. King, it is not going well for you. i tell you what, we're going to leave this for a bit. See what happens. Count down the death of the King. Okay, so this is pretty intense right now. I've waited ridiculous amounts of time for this. And as you can see, Refuser Kraken has been slowly knocked down to 389 HP. I don't know how this turnaround happened. The king got stuck at 2000 HP and just did not budge in the slightest. He wasn't losing, he wasn't gaining. Now that Mephusa Kraken has kind of left him alone, he's gone back to gaining his health back and Mephusa Kraken is stuck regaining at that amount and that is a turnaround and a half. I tell you what, did not expect this in the slide has been trying to get them to get back together for the fight. Um, it is a hard one. It is a hard one indeed. Go on, go on, Mr. Kingy King King. Okay, Mufusa Kraken seems to be in here now, so it doesn't seem to be all 
bad news. And there we go. The damage is being struck again. I want you guys to see this firsthand. The King taking down Methuselah Kraken. I did not see this coming. I don't think any of you saw this one coming. Um, but the King is still taking damage. Don't get me wrong, but Methuselah Kraken is having a nightmare at the moment. Um, I don't think this can be turned around by Mephusa Kraken. The King, as I'm saying, is not budging below the 2,000 health mark. At the moment, he's not throwing around too many attacks, which is I don't get. He's so close to finishing off Mephusa Kraken, and he just needs to take that extra step. Come on. just, just She's just at 300 HP, man. You just, 280, uh, 285 HP. You can do this, dude. You can do... 234 just a few more hits man you you can do this i mean i did i didn't think mephusa kraken would be defeated today with the mobs we've got 183 as you can see it's working it is getting down slowly and this can make you appreciate how long i've had to sit back and wait for it to get this low don't let her gain back now do not let her gain back dude she get okay 142 142 HP. This is getting too close. It's getting too close for comfort. 147. It's got to be knocked down any point now. Any point now. Oh my goodness. 96 HP. The king is still chilling in the 2000s. And where is he going? Where are you? You can't run away now when you are so close on the brink of victory. You've let her gain back too much health. 70. She's on 70. 19. Here we go. This has to be it. And one more hit. And she has to be done. And that is game over for Mephusa Crack. As soon as that last hit. 30, 44. What is going on? This is getting just ridiculously intense. Who can hold out the longest is what this is turning into right now. 40, And it's done. And that is done. The king has taken out... Mephusela Kraken. Did I get did I get anything from that? And now we're just gonna go and take out all the others. He's one hitting them. He's not even bothered. He's just taking them down. Easy peasy. Look how many there are. And where on earth did all her stuff fall? It, here it is. This is everything you get from Mephusela Kraken. So much gold. And was it some blocks of um the armor I'm wearing now, Hardcadium. Um, man, that is mental. I'll tell you what, we're not going to do the Queen. Purely because we've got a winner. And that is all we needed. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to smash that like button. And comment down below what mob battle you want to see next. But anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.